right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, more often than not, when he's fought, he is left with some bonus money. Here is the perennial middleweight contender, Yoel Soldier of God Romero. A lot of signature wins, not the least of which was going into Madison Square Garden and knocking out Chris Weidman at UFC 205. Yoel Romero back in the octagon tonight. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to the mat time and time again has proven to be one of the most effective tools in his arsenal. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're the cuss twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division. And a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Romero is 20 years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 485 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero! And now the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, El Diablo. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital. Posture's up here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the wow. bottom. That is it. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, 
it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Bang. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, El Diablo! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory.